Shalom and blessings, family and friends. As I was doing my morning study, I came across this vital passage within Future Prophecy about the children of Hashem. I was looking into the how to discuss with contemporary Christians how the Torah is still very valid in the lives of all people who claim to be children of Hashem. The passage in reference is Jeremiah chapter 12, verses 14 through 17 from the complete Jewish Bible. Here is what Adonai God says. As for all my evil neighbors who encroach on the heritage I gave to my people Israel as their possession, I will uproot them from their own land, and I will even uproot Judah from among them. Then after I have uprooted them, I will take pity on them again and bring them back, each one to his inheritance, each one to his own land. Then if they will carefully learn my people's ways, swearing by my name, as Adonai lives, just as they taught my people to swear by Baal, they will be built up among my people. But if they refuse to listen, then I will uproot that nation, uproot and destroy it, says Adonai. Now what caught my attention is that this is about future prophecy, determining the people who Hashem will bring back as His people. Hashem will punish His rebellious children for being disobedient to His ways, His Torah. Christianity, as well as the many who claim to be Jewish, think reform are those who still ignore being a light to the Gentiles, but all of them today are rebellious to His Torah, to His ways. But Hashem will eventually bring them back and bless them. This could be the modern state of Israel, or have we yet to see this? But not only will He take in His children, but He will bring in the Gentiles, the Christians. And this we have seen in our lifetime since the time of Messiah. However, here comes the caveat to being invited into Abraham's seed, spoken of by Shaul in Galatians 3.29, or even the commonwealth in Ephesians 2.12, verse 16 is a must. They must learn his set-apart people's ways, the Torah, swearing by his name. Not some lawless Jesus the contemporary church preaches about. Daniel warned you about this. He warned the future assembly about this, and as well as Shaul in 2 Thessalonians. The verse ends by stating the Gentiles, the Christians, will be built among his people. And finally, verse 17, another warning. But if they refuse to listen, disobedience to his Torah, they will be uprooted and destroyed. Remember the grafting in in Romans 11, 11 through 36. I really need so many of you to understand that following Hashem's ways are not a burden, nor are they a yoke if you love him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Yeshua wants you to follow Hashem's commands so that you too may have life. What is a burden is trying to follow all his commands to check off the boxes as in legalism. Please understand, he would not give you anything that was a burden that moved you away from him. Hashem loves you and wants you to follow him because you want to do so. And now my warning to the people directly from the scriptures. If you hear a preacher or teacher tell you that you do not have to follow his commands to be saved, run from them. That person is lawless or Torahless and is not the ways of Hashem. Yeshua even warned you, I never knew you. Get away from me, you workers of lawlessness. I hope this helps some of you. If you like this shorter message, please leave a comment and I will try to do more like this. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, blessings, and shalom.